Alrighty then, I'm back, and how about a little bit of a fluff piece to get me back into the swing of things, hmm? I'll keep it at least semi-pertinent to a lot of the other content I've released, though. So, I'll be looking at some equal pay news. Now, some of you will be familiar with the show Shameless, and that will put you well ahead of me on this particular issue, but at any rate, let's take a look at the recent waves being made by Emmy Rossum, who plays Fiona something or other on the show. You see, Emmy Rossum took a stand on the issue of equal pay, demanding that she receive the exact same salary as her male co-star, William H. Macy. This move has, of course, been touted by the feminist press as groundbreaking and admirable. But in their praise of Rossum, they fail to realize that what she has actually done here is not demand equal pay for equal qualification and work, but rather demanded more than her resume would warrant in terms of compensation for her acting. Now, is this somehow my way of attacking Rossum's acting abilities? No, I'm actually quite fond of her as an actress and think she did a tremendous job in The Phantom of the Opera about, oh, a decade or so ago. But what I am saying here is that I don't think Emmy Rossum, with her resume of 28 acting credits dating back to a one-episode appearance on a 97-episode of Law & Order, quite stacks up to that of William H. Macy's working history, touting 137 credits to his name dating back to 1964. Now, even when you look at the award wins and nominations from each candidate, you quickly notice that Macy far outstrips Rossum with 34 wins and 62 nominations from various awards, compared to her 8 wins and 20 nominations, again, various awards across the board. Now folks, I'm all for two equally qualified and equally valuable individuals being paid the same for the exact same work. But this is not so much a case of equal pay, as it is an actress wielding the threat of public shaming and media pressure to punch above her weight in the bargaining room, and I don't think any employer should be held hostage by public opinion in a labor dispute. Now, with that said, I've criticized propagators of the wage gap myth in the past for ignoring the fact that women don't tend to fight as hard when it comes to salary negotiations. And so in this case, I have to tip my hat to Rossum for a no-holds-barred approach to salary negotiations. But I will not sit by and let people spew out all this equal pay nonsense when, and I'm sorry, Emmy, please don't hate me, you're lovely, She really doesn't have the portfolio to justify the demands. Right now, based on acting history and award pedigree, Macy should be turning around and demanding a raise comparable to the extent to which his portfolio puts Rossum's to shame.